Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here, and welcome to Nasty Harbor. That is the level name in this version, and you know, in the Spyro Japanese version. And you know, I really like that level name. What a cool name, Nasty Harbor. Um, you'll see that the. I mean, I, yeah, it, it's just it's a. Oh shit! Uh, okay, wait. I got lost my train of thought for a second. You see that this level is sort of part of the industrial theme, um, sort of the, that's that's the way that their levels look. Um, I kind of like the, I, I don't know, I, I like the sixth world, I think it's pretty cool. I think, I wish there was more levels, but I understand why there isn't. Um, but I believe that there was originally going to be a machinist world, which was, um, or this, I think this was originally something like, I've actually forgotten it now because it's been so long, but I'm pretty sure what it is, is that there was a machinist world um, that was going to be, this was going to be the machinist world, but then I think they, maybe, I think they cut it short. There was, the original world was going to be much bigger. You can see that, I mean, to me it kind of screams that it's rushed because of the fact that it's basically, um, metal versions of the to toasty portal, um, appearing like, you know, each level sort of like unlocked by that. Like, I mean, if it was a proper world, um, I... I guess there's one way you could explain it, you could say, well, like, you have to go through the world like that, and you have to complete everything in order, but I think there's a way you could still have to complete every level, um, or at least get to the portal, and then, you know, only then will the, the nasties world sort of unlock, because it's just not so typical to have, you know, portals so close to each other, all linking to these places, like, it would make sense you'd have to travel more within the world. Um, and it also makes sense that maybe he would have created a bigger world as well, because like this, this is all he's got to stand for. You know, it's like yeah, it's like that's not uh, this, that's not much to show for. I know that we we know we all we all shit on uh, Nasty Nork every now and then, but like even still, even by his standards, this is still pretty average. Um, these worlds here are great, you know, like you know they're, they're all detailed and stuff like that. But yeah, for Nasty Nork, I don't know, just he's got to keep up, pick up his slack a little bit. Anyway, I reckon I missed that guy last time I was here, like in some other guide or something like that. But yeah, anyway. Um, Differences from Japanese to English, I think they're pretty minimal. I mean, obviously, sign there, obvious change, but um, really, it so far it looks and feels the exact same. I'm pretty sure that's the case. I mean, some of the differences are, yeah, very minor at best, even for Japan, even for the Japanese version. The big, the real, realistically, the biggest difference in the whole game is actually the Jark thing, Jark thing. Uh, just, you know, with the whole, um, you know, like, missing platforms, and, okay, that's a big difference too, absolute garbage, uh, um, what's the word, garbage camera angle, which is, you know, the, the game's camera was, was actually criticised when it was originally released, I've never been a hater of the camera, but in the Japanese version, as we all know, yes, it is shit, anyway, oh, it didn't blow up, I liked it. That, there's some cool attention to detail by by uh, the by Insomniac there. I can I like that. I like how they actually don't um, yeah like they don't just blow up just because you hit them. I mean like that that makes sense because the thing actually hit them. But if you can hit it out of their hands, um, it's kind of cool. Let's see if we can do it again. Okay, that that should blow up. Yeah. Right. No. Okay. Anyway. Um, Got that one, got that one, and oh yeah, down here as well. Yeah, I can't believe we're, I can't believe we're wrapping this up. Like I'm, you know, didn't record for such a long time, and now I'm here just, you know, getting it out of the way. Not that sounds like getting out of the way in a negative way, but you know, I'm getting it, uh, getting it done all in one day, and it shows just how. Um, I mean, yeah, if you really, if you really want to try, if you really want to believe in yourself, you can beat this game in just a couple of hours. So I'm surprised I didn't do it in more, uh, in less sessions actually, because like the fact that you know, if you can play this game well, you really won't have any trouble. There you go. Look at that. It crushed his head. I mean, that's a bit too far, guys. A bit too far. And you know, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use this one. Look at that. Absolute freaking Onage there. Onage three four zero three four zero, who. Is uh, one of the my original friends on YouTube who now goes by the name Force to Be. It's a bit of a shout out there. He's uh, he's back now. He's I uh, think he's a registered member of the 
United, like English Army or something like that, I believe. Good on him. Now I wonder if he said, you gotta believe, which is a Parappa the Rapper reference again that came out in America, I believe a year earlier, Parappa the Rapper was either 97 or 96, like, actually, that that's, I don't, don't ask me on that, don't quote me on that one, because I'm not too sure. Sometimes I get my year releases incorrect, but yeah, Prap the Rapper. Never played that game. I believe they put it on the PlayStation. I think they put it on the PlayStation Store. I always thought, that for some reason, in my head, I'm imagining a scenario where they actually wanted to like remake that game, or it, it, maybe he was a character in that PlayStation All Stars. Maybe that's where I'm thinking. Anyway, get that. The music is cool. It doesn't. It's not even that like intense either. It's just sort of like, well, yeah, harbory. Yeah, which is, uh, this level, I mean, realistically, the next level is called Twilight Harbor, right, in the English version, but in a way, this is more Twilight Harbor than North Cove. Like, North, it almost, I mean, that level almost feels more like a cove, I don't know, like, I believe that me and uh, the AFH 13 Al Malloy, I believe we actually discussed it at some point, like, how it's like almost like the level name should be switched. Um, but yeah, anyway, where are we going? In here? I wanted you to listen to that nice little solo, that Copeland brilliance. Right. Boom. Am I ready? Let's let him. There you go. See, look, doesn't blow up. Just lands straight in his head. The brutality, my friends. The absolute brutality. Right. What the hell? What was the gem doing there? random okay anyway we're nearly completed this level this level is a bit shorter than the first one um oh sorry than the next one the one that's coming up the uh twilight harbor which by the way i do not know no, i'm gonna i'm gonna try something fancy here okay i'm going to Can, please let me go down there again yes <laughs> What's this? You're not actually meant to do this. I just thought, you know what? Why not be a funny, smart ass idiot? But, you know what? Joke's on me, because I actually have to go that way anyway, because there's a height, but yeah. Anyway, let me just be a douchebag. I don't even know. I mean, what was the point of that? I don't know. Maybe me just testing if I could do it, but anyway, get that. And it's not in here. No, it's not. Of course it isn't. I already went in there. It's the red cove and again just the usage of lighting i love it like to direct each you know different area you got the sort of pink sort of stuff and hey why the hell is that guy i did what the fuck i already killed you douche oh wait oh no there's, oh, there's two yeah okay my bad um but um yeah it's like you know the difference is sort of like a purple pink reddish sort of lighting and then you got the blue and the green and it sort of it means that you never get mixed up where you are you always know where you are and where the fuck are the last few gems? Oh god, I've got no idea. Um, but yeah, and, that, and that's the thing. That's why. We, that's why. Like, Spire is just such a well-designed game. Is that the developers know they, you know, they they want you to search for things, but they're not going to get let you get lost due to poor level design. That's one thing that you can they can, I guess, promise that will never happen if you play unless you're, like, you know, just silly or, you know, young, like, you know, missing where you want to go and stuff like that. But, uh, where the hell are these last few gems? I bet it's on, like, a platform or something. Um. <laughs> it's a cool bit of design there. Look, it's, like, so useless, but they decided to do it anyway. Like, what the hell? I love it. It's a, don't worry, it's a positive for me. Um. But in all seriousness... I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna have a look. How the hell did I avoid this one? I mean, I was like looking at it when the, I first went through. I bet you, you commenters are like, uh, what the frickin' hell are you doing there, Crystal Vision? Oh shit. Wait, shit. Are you gonna throw something at me? There you go. Is that gonna give me a one, is that gonna give him a one gem? There we go, done. Alright, okay, and let's go to the exit portal. Done. 
So a little fun fact, you actually have to use the exit portal because it triggers the opening to the next level. Uh, I'm 99% well, I'm sure of that, because I, I remember one time like I exited the level and then it's, it's like, God, oh, the level isn't unlocked. Anyway, oh, look at that. Okay, it's already a chest. That's good. So it means I don't have to collect it. Let's go to 6-2. The level name is, as I quickly, as we're loading, check the old Spyro wiki. It is called Nasty Bridge. Nasty Bridge. Okay, you know what? There's a bridge in the level. Spoiler alert. I mean, that's the thing. This, this level flat out says that there's a bridge in the level. Like, I mean, have we ever seen a bridge before in this game? Yes, but uh, not in the capacity that it's used. In fact, is it... I'm trying to think. Is it... It's like, kind of... Yeah, I'd, I'd be confident enough to say it's the only thing of its kind in the series, actually, this sort of bridge. That you, you never really see anything quite like this. If you do, maybe it's similar, but it's definitely not the exact same as this. I'm trying to think. I, memory is... My memory at such a young age of 20 is slowly disappearing. Um, okay. I believe there's a area that I'm missing, which the camera angle basically ensures that you miss. That's the thing. No wonder Japanese kids get so frustrated. They probably got far this past, this far past in the game and then they could never find the last gems because the camera angle specifically prevents you from even being able to turn the camera so you can see that area. It's like, it makes the game ten times harder. Let, let alone the slow speed and blah blah blah. I've said it a million times but you never can say it enough times, can't you? Alright, let's go through. It's a lovely level with lovely music. Again, very peaceful for a level with such an abundance, overabundance of guns. They love their gun culture here. It's a very gun culture place. It's like a, it's like, it's like the American level of the game, I guess. Uh, okay, there you go. Look at that sky. Oh, very kind, very respectful. You're welcome, mate. You're bloody welcome. You bloody beauty, mate. You bloody welcome. Well, okay, Spyro, welcome to Glimmer. Yeah, we got some fucking gem cutters here, and we got some bloody annoying little frickin' norks and shit. So, maybe you should come over and say hello. I guess that's the funny thing, is that, like, you'd expect that level would have been Sheila's one, because she's a kangaroo, and then, of course, it's like Austrian, Austrian, um, goats and stuff like that, mountain goats, which, uh, that was sort of the joke, like, it's not Australia, it's, you know, I know, but, I mean, guys, they passed up an opportunity, can you believe it, they actually, just to make that joke, they passed up an opportunity of making an Australian-esque level, I know, it could be, could be Insomniac's biggest mistake to date since, uh, Fuse, but yeah, Fuse maybe overcome, over, overtook that, if anyone gets that reference to an Insomniac title called Fuse, you're welcome, and you win, because the irony is that no one really knows about that game. Because um, it was like a real... Well, what it originally was, was like this really cool idea, and then they like retooled it. I'm pretty sure it was like EA that maybe told them to do that, or I can't, something. And it became just like every other FPS ever. So, what can I say? Anyway, here you go, go up here. So good at jumping that it actually took me over like that. And then we'll get this guy, whoa. And remember, there's a little, well, it's not really an Easter egg, so I don't, maybe they didn't really intend you to do it, but, um, hey, look. Looks like you can see through the wall there. Um, anyway, look, if you have a look here, right, this, oh, shit. Don't do that. That's my tip for you. Okay, I'll get back over there. Um, but yeah, there's this little, there's a thing, I think maybe I won't actually try it, but I'm just trying to think. Also, it seems like the speed picks up there, but also, look at this. I always thought this was really cool attention to detail, like, they didn't have to do this, but they did. Obviously, that side's cool, but then, have a look at this. Look at this cute little area over here, like, what does that sign say? Can anyone translate this? I'm gonna hold it there, pause the screen. What does that say? Because it, maybe, I mean, there's one on this side and one on that side, so what does this one say? I'm guessing it just says, like, blah blah blah, it's a nice area, or like, you know, it's a supercharge, but this one over here looks like it could say something about this area here, which, I don't know, it's really cool. Anyway, let's go down here. There we go, if you let go, then, yeah. Anyway, we'll do this again now. Okay, camera, seriously, genuine, genuine piece of shit. 
Not even a sarcastic piece of shit, a genuine piece of shit. We can make it over to there. No, we can't. So, this game, what a nightmare. What a nightmare. Alright. Here we go. Then what we do here, fancy thing, we put it back down because we have to come back. See, look at that. It speeds up. Look at that. It's, it's like it almost goes to like Spyro 1 English versions. Uh, or like, you know, PAL and NTSC version uh, speed or something like that, or like halfway. Anyway, got to go across here, it's a little, not, not super easy, not super difficult. I remember as a kid I struggled with it a couple of times, took like maybe two or three attempts sometimes because I'd fall in when I was younger, but anyway, we're wrapping it up. Let's go through, turn that corner, oh look at that hard, look at that hard right, hard left, wait, that's left. That's right, and that's left again. Look at this. It's like, I'm seriously, it's like I'm controlling a bad car. It's like I'm playing Gran Turismo 1 right now, and I'm trying to use the Dodge Viper, which is a notoriously hard car to control because I never knew about tuning and shit. Seriously, if you're a Gran Turismo amateur, Please look at tuning up your car, like fixing the brakes and shit, because like, I remember I like buy all the fast cars, but then I would never be able to control them, because like I wouldn't, well firstly I wouldn't even be able to get them as fast as I could, and then after that I would like, yeah, I just, I, I'm an idiot, but yeah, like Gran Turismo is actually one of my loves, uh, one of my few loves in the world, uh, you'll see that if you look at my like really early uploads, before it was like, you know, like alongside Spyro stuff, it was actually Gran Turismo license guides. Funnily enough, not gold, because I was never that good. Only these days am I better at getting golds, but, um, yeah, like, I was, up, I w I'd love to do more Gran Turismo stuff, but I remember, like, copyright gets in the way, and then I can't listen to music while I race, and I, lo like, love the soundtrack, so, yeah, it's one of the, it's, it's a shame, and I, I, I do wish I could do some Gran Turismo stuff, and, you know, I may in the future, actually, um, but I know that it doesn't, Gran Turismo doesn't have a massive audience, Kind of like Ape Escape doesn't leave a big audience, which is a colossal shame. You guys all need to be playing Ape Escape. If you if you like Spyro, you have to play Ape Escape. It's like I think it's, it should be it should be an official rule at this point. Anyway, guy with gun, piss off, shit. I'm gonna die. It's over. It's over. Oh crap! That was very lucky. Remix of the theme. See. Great music. Okay, so is that it? Please be it. No, it's not it. Why do I keep missing gems? And where, the question is, where do I keep missing gems too? It's not around there, it must be. Hmm, I can't think. For myself, no, just kidding. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know, okay, oh, there's one. That's five, there's probably just a five gem. Little, what's the word? Five gem on the loose somewhere. Ape escape on the loose. All right, let's go through here. Let's let's seriously, what's the word for it? Uh, not scourge out the area. What's the, I don't even know what the word is for it. Just whatever. Okay, we're gonna use our nice newly found speed. Maybe it's one. Maybe it's one up there. Maybe it's. Problem is the fucking camera angle. Just let me look up more, you piece of shit. You know what I mean? Like, Jesus. It's coming to a boiling point. Just, I'm just gonna just absolutely curse out the whole game. Which I rarely do. It's a Spyro, and I, you know, we love, we all love Spyro here, but we, we, we dislike this uh, Japanese version. That is, that's fair to do. You know, as someone that usually loves Japanese stuff, all things Japanese, um, it's, <laughs> What a colossal disappointment. Now anyway, um, there you go, as I walk up there and I can't see anywhere where I'm going. Because, you know, that, that's, that's the greatest way to game, right? You know, just make sure it's impossible to do anything. Okay, what's the bed? It is, like, just somewhere here. Hey, is that the end of the level right there? Huh. Cool. Where the hell is this 5 gem? Could it be an enemy? not there. It's there. <laughs> Why the hell did I miss that? Alright guys, anyway, off to the exit portal again. Look at this amazing camera angle here, look at this. Side view, side view, no view, front view. 
and jump into the portal with basically no view. That is the story of Spyro the Dragon in Japanese. Anyway guys, look at that. With that we are on 11,375 gems, 11,375, and uh, there's some more to collect here, which we are very conveniently ignoring. Anyway guys, in the next part, have a look. It is Gnasty Gnork, level 6-3, the boss. This will be the final part. We will do three more levels. This one, Nork, and uh, a secret level. Thank you guys for watching. It's been a pleasure. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next part. For now, I'm going to consume these after eights. We don't have them in Australia. They are uh, like after dinner mints. And we don't have them in Australia. We ha they have them in Europe. They have them everywhere. If you're a European and you're not eating these, you've made a big mistake. So go to your store right now. I wish I wish I wish I was getting paid promotion for this because seriously Nestle should be paying me a fortune to promote these. Anyway guys, ready I'm gonna I'm gonna take a bite and you're gonna hear it. See that? There you go. Thank you guys. See you later.